Okay, I want to let you all got all of you in on a little secret. I hate, hate, hate vacuuming. I don't know why. Um, we had a very, very big clunky vacuum when I was a kid. That uh, it was uh, one of the I guess they're called canister vacuums where they had the extra piece that dra you drag along with it. I guess. Anyway, that's the only thing I can think of as to why I hate vacuuming. So anyway, I got a handy dandy helper since that's the one chore I cannot stand. And I have not regretted buying this thing um, since day one. Um, this doesn't do a great job in this pet area, but it at least gets things started and uh, helps clump the hair for the most part. So anyway, this is the Roomba, and this model is, oh, what model number is it? Because there are differences in the models. This is the 880 model. So 880, and this one I like because it picks up the hair and it doesn't get tangled around the wheels. Um, I'd actually bought the wrong model the first time and found that it was near impossible to clean the hair out from the wheels. So this 880 model is very easy because um, they have like a little area that all the hair goes to and you just simply pull it off the ends. So it's a lot easier. Um, so if you ever consider getting a Roomba, I highly recommend it. It doesn't replace all your vacuuming because you're still going to have to do it from time to time because unfortunately sometimes it pushes things to the side as you see right there. Um, so it doesn't get everything perfectly. You do have to do a more detailed vacuuming at least once a month. Um, or not at least once a month. I, I do it about once a month, but you could actually do it t twice a month, depending on if you have animals or not. So, um, Roomba, you're not showing a very good job of what you can do right now. <laughs> there you go. Pick it up. Huh. Anyway, I'll show you what this room ends up looking like after it's done, and you'll see that it is a lot, uh, it is uh, worth the investment. Of course, I use this for all my rooms because uh, the Fly Lady, you do a weekly home blessing hour. It's supposed to just be an hour, but I don't know how you can get vacuuming done in just 10 minutes for your whole house. I do understand it's supposed to be a quick vacuum, but come on. <laughs> Anyway, so I use this and I just plop them down room to room each day and by the end of the week my whole house is vacuumed. So that's how I do it. Of course, everybody's got their own little way of doing it. Uh, some people would just say just use a mop and you would have had this done by now. But my mop, or not my, a mop, a broom, but it, the hair seems to stick to that too. So um, if anybody's got any uh, ideas on how to get this hair up besides using this Roomba and then going back behind it with the vacuum or just picking up the clumps it leaves behind. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I know Fly Lady has a uh, special broom that's supposed to work for this and I'm half tempted to get it only because this isn't getting everything in this area. However, the Roomba works great on carpet. I mean, absolutely fantastic. And it works great in our kitchen as well. It just seems to be this area that it has some issues with. Um, so anyway, um, that's what I'm doing here today is I'm rooming this area and then I'm going to mop the bathroom and this area as well. So once everything's picked up. All right, so we are done with the Roomba. Let's see what it did. As you can tell, it did get quite a bit of hair up. Now, what it normally does, and I will show you how it did this, because it did it here. I can see in that corner back there. Well, obviously, the majority of the hair gets into the Roomba itself, but a lot of times it clumps it up, and then I just have to pick up these little clumps, and then I can go back to mopping. And see, there's a little clump over there. There's one hiding in there. So, um, and then right along the edges here. So I'm used to grabbing those real quick. Doesn't take me long at all. And so I like 
I like the Roomba and I think it does a good job. While I'm in here, my washer is done. It's been fluffing my stuff while it waits on me to get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and fold them up. And then I'm going to gather up uh, these little fur babies here. And then I'm going to go ahead and mop in here and in the bathroom. Okay, I have another cleaning product that I cannot live without. This is the um, Shark Swivel 180 Sonic Duo Scrubbing Air Glide Maneuverability Thingy. I don't know <laughs> what the actual thing's called. But anyway, um, I got this at Walmart. Um, my husband had seen an infomercial on it a long time ago and he loved it and wanted it we finally found it at walmart and we picked it up and i absolutely love this it can do carpet and hardwood floor um and it actually does a really great job on carpet although i use it more for my floors my hard floors than anything because i use it in place of a mop uh, basically it takes the cleaning solution and you can spray it kind of like the Swiffer Wet Jet does, um, but this has an extra feature where these vibrate. So they, they go back and forth to help scrub things too. Um, and also the pads on these are washable, so you can reuse them many, many times. And so I just love this, and that's what I use to do my mopping. So Okay, so we are winding down on our day. It's been kind of a crazy day. Um, I'm supposed to make my grocery list. I already have that going. I texted the kids because basically my husband buys what's, what he's going to cook for dinner. He either does that each night or he'll buy it on the weekend. But this time, this week, it seems like he's having to buy it each night. And then whenever I go, I go once a week and I get, uh, what I eat for my lunches at home and then... Uh, anything that the kids might need for like snacks and uh, over the weekend and things like that. So I always text them during their day. They're able to use their phones at school now. So I get my grocery list off of that. So I've already started that. I'm going to finish that this evening. And then also today I'm supposed to clean out my purse. So that's what I'm going to do next. Easiest way to do this is just turn the thing upside down and pull it all, pour it all out. Okay, then you grab whatever else was lingering, okay, and then you deal with what you got, okay, so I've got some receipts here from ATM, I don't need those anymore, I don't need that, don't need that, uh, phone numbers, don't need that anymore, it was for a car dealership that we decided not to go with, I already scanned that receipt into the savings catcher, so I don't need that. We changed car insurance, so I don't need that. Um, I need to scan that one, so I'll put that to the side. I Let's see if these are expired yet. That's expired. Um, this one is not. This one's coming up, actually. <laughs> we might do some shopping this weekend. Um... Crystals, don't need that. ATM, uh, I've already subscribed to them on Facebook, so I don't need that. Um, already scanned that one in the savings catcher. Let's see. I scanned that one in the savings catcher. And I gotta scan that one still. Alright. Um, that's leftover food from the weekend. That's nice. When I find all that in there, it's always lovely. A uh, candy wrapper. <laughs> so basically, it's a, just a bunch of wrappers for the most part. And then I go through what I'm going to keep. I put everything where they go. These are spare keys, so they go in my spare key pouch. In here. So I got pockets um, in there for that. These turn left scan in the savings catcher, so I'm going to keep them over there. That's going to go in my wallet. My wallet goes in my purse. 
my gum goes in my purse, my, uh, actually this goes back with my makeup because I don't need that anymore. Uh, cards go back in my wallet. Okay. Uh, discount card. Actually, this one's expired. I can get rid of that. I don't know why I'm still holding on to it. It expired back in February for crying out loud. All right. Change purse. Okay. And we keep any coins that were in it. So there was just a penny in it this time. Got hand lotion in there. All right. And we put our penny in our bank right here. And then all of this gets thrown away because it's all trash. So it's as easy as that. I'm going to scan those two receipts in the savings catcher for Walmart. I don't know if y'all are aware of the savings catcher. If you're not, you definitely need to get on board. You can save some money. Um, basically, you scan your receipts from what you buy. And um, if there is a lower price with a competitor, then you get the difference back. And you get it in a Walmart gift card, which, hey... If you're like me, you don't like comparison shopping. Um, so anything that makes that easy and you still get the savings, I'm all for, you know. So anyway, that's what I am going to do. So now my purse is all nice and cleaned out and ready for shopping again for this week. And that is that. And I believe we are pretty much done. The only thing I got left on my list is eBay. Um, I'm going to do that this afternoon. And then uh, a pamper mission, which honestly I hardly ever get to. Um, I'll have to read up to see what the pamper mission is for the day. If I do it, I'll let you know. Um, and then go around for my home tasks. So that stuff I'm probably going to do in the afternoon after I'm done with work and everything. Because um, it's just simpler to do it then. Because those, those take a little bit extra time. So... Um, anyway, that's it for today, and that's how I clean the fly lady way.